Schools are finalizing plans for how to educate students during the pandemic. Our Janine Lassan has the latest on how the new school year will be handled at Marion Catholic High School in Tamaqua. On one side, we want everyone to be safe, uh, but at the same time, not only just for the, the sake of academics, but for the social emotional well-being. Um, you know, in one thing with talking with parents and just uh, seeing the studies that are out there, the young people especially, and this is across all grade levels, you know, we're all relational people, but the ability to be with your peers is so important. So we want to get them educated, but we also want those social emotional needs to be taken care of for our students. So we are planning, we submitted our plan over the weekend. Uh, we want to get back to school and be here five days a week. Uh, no augmentation to our schedule. Now, we are going to be augmenting what we do procedurally to make sure that students are getting um, temperature checked as soon as they come in the building, uh, to make sure that all of our, our teachers um, have all the proper things that they need to make sure that there's six feet of social distancing. Everyone's going to be masked. Uh, in the event um, that we do need to have a, a quarantine or a shutdown or some type of cyber component, we are providing additional um, the professional development for our teachers so that they have the needs. We use the Google Classroom platform uh, here at Marian Catholic. So just looking at, at every facet, what are we going to do in the cafeteria? Again, keeping the students distanced, masks only come off um, when they're eating. So following the governor's guidelines, the CDC's guidelines, the Pennsylvania Department of Health, uh, the Pennsylvania Department of Education and the Diocese of Allentown's Office of Education. I think we have all of our, our base discovered and, and it's an organic process as well. Okay, so a couple things that we're going to do. The children, uh, the students will be wearing specific masks that, masks that will be provided to them from Marion. Correct, yes. We're going to be uh, issuing um, school issued masks and then we are also going to give families the opportunity to purchase additional masks uh, You know our, our young people they're great But sometimes you know the dog eats it just like the homework the dog eats it it gets lost whatever the case may be So uh, it'll be emblemed with the Marion logo uh, And we'll be making sure that they have those masks to stay safe And this is basically so that we know that each child is wearing a mask that is following the guidelines Exactly. We've, you know, all schools and institutions are being bombarded with different vendor email lists and stuff like that at this point. But uh, again, you want to make sure the three ply um, that comes with the CDC recommendations, uh, along with, um, you know, not using disposable ones, because we don't want it to become a cost issue with families. We want the students to stay safe. And at the same time, you know, if we have someone who's constantly trying to reuse an, a disposable one, we're breaking down safety protocols and procedures at that point. So we thought it best to jump ahead of it, issue school issued uh, masks to be able to best service our students and our faculty. Kids will now be entering all, everyone will be into one entry at the back of the school. And that I found interesting because there you will have new equipment that will take their temperature. An alarm will go off if they are at a temperature at 100.3, but then they also walk over a disinfectant mat. Correct. Correct. Yep. So one of the things that, uh, you know, they've been talking about is schools are getting allocations um, of uh, safety grants to be able to use that money towards ramping up the amount of safety protocols because of COVID. And so this new technology that we have is a screen um, that's going to be mounted on the wall. It has the built in infrared temperature scanner um, that everybody's getting scanned as they come in. We're going to have a faculty member who's going to be there moderating this process as it goes, contingency plans if something breaks down. Um, but it does register and sends a, a, it sends a picture of the students, myself, and also to our dean of students if someone should register the elevated temperature uh, that is above the, the fever level. And then we will address that with, you know, put quarantining that student in the school um, until. Uh, to a remote location till the parents can come and get them, get them to the doctor. We're putting a 70, 72 hour um, out of school uh, time span on it uh, before they can come back with the doctor's note saying that they're clear to go. So again, we just wanna keep everybody safe. And some of this stuff as everybody's been experiencing could be an inconvenience, but at the same time, we it's better to be cautious in these situations because I don't want for our families, for our students, uh, for our faculty and staff to have to go into another shutdown the distance that we had in the spring. It's just, it's not good for us. It's not good for anybody. Uh, we will if we have to, but we don't want to.